Hi there, and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video, I'm going to talk about uh, funnels. And uh, funnels, so there are premium features uh, within uh, Matomo Analytics, and uh, that uh, require, of course, uh, a license key in order to, to work. Um, in my case, I'm using it on premise, uh, which is something that I strongly advise you to uh, if uh, you would like to debug it, such as what I did. Uh, uh, today it took me about two hours in order to debug it and the reason is that if you are using a cloud version of uh, Matomo or any other cloud provider uh, who are not giving you the data for uh, the today's day well of course you will always need to wait 24 hours in order to get your data which is an issue if you want to, to troubleshoot it so that's why I'm using it uh, here on premise and um, um, how it works well it's as most funnel you all you just need in fact to define them um, to define a goal first and then once you define your goal uh, you can define the funnels with the different funnel step uh, to me the most important thing if you would like to have uh, your funnel uh, working the way you want is that you need to take a decision here in order to define if uh, the steps are going to be required or not okay and that that's the most important because if you check in fact all those boxes which are over here it means that in order to enter within the funnel people need to go through this given url then this given url and then this given url and it should not contain any intermediate uh, url over here through the path of the given uh, visitor same thing if you let uh, all those required box uh, checks you won't have any entry uh, any entrance coming at this given step or this given step because the reason is uh, that all the steps need to be matched in order to be uh, recorded as a funnel. Next thing that you need to know is that uh, the funnel is not uh, working in real time. So what it means that this given report, if you are trying to fetch it in kind of real time in order to debug it, uh, you may see different state, okay? That depends on your uh, the time at when you refresh your uh, page or your clear your cache because at some point you may see no data at all because Matomo is starting back the archiving process then at some point you may see that none of them converted in any conversion because once more uh, the uh, processing uh, calculation is not yet finished and then uh, once you wait enough and then you see in fact the full process so here uh, what you are seeing here is a funnel which is a bit mixed because I use it with the required step and I use it as well with uh, the non-required step. So that's why at some point I get uh, some entry rest. Actually, for the uh, three first time that I was using it with required step, it did not work. And then in order to debug uh, the funnel, what you could do is that you can just uh, look over here through the uh, lo visit log segment to see what uh, Matomo took into consideration within the funnel. Uh, all I can say here regarding the funnel is that uh, it's working fine as far as you define if uh, the different steps are required or not. So if you want to have a strike funnel without any entrance pages coming in, um, what you need to do is that to mark all the different steps uh, required. And uh, of course, it means that uh, you know really well your website because it may be of course possible that at some point people can uh, from uh, another page and that's it uh, for what I would like to explain you for today about funnels uh, thanks for watching